So let's start analyzing the bubble point, which as the name implies, there is something about a bubble. When the liquid, let's say we have a liquid, we have water, a pot of water, and we start heating it, it's going to be saturated. The temperature, let's say, let's say it's water, it starts from maybe 95 degrees, and then you get to 100 Celsius degrees. You know that 100 Celsius degrees will be start or will start converting into gas. The first bubble it forms, let's say it forms a bubble here, and when you see the first bubble, you can say you achieve the bubble point, which will be, of course, at 100 Celsius in this case. But the term is very important. When you achieve the first bubble, that's the bubble point. So you, uh, for example, for water is obvious because you know it already, but for many substances that you don't know, you need to see actually the first bubble forming to get the bubble point. And we will say that this substance is, of course, in its saturation point. Very important, once again, this is the bubble point, guys. Now, let's say we have a gas everywhere at 110 Celsius degrees, it's vapor, and I start cooling it, I take out heat, I start cooling it, cooling it, with something cold outside, let's say ice or something like that, and when the gas makes the first drop, or the first dew, anywhere, that will be the dew point, because you, once again, you're going to see a small dew, a little bubble forming, not bubble, but drop, little drop forming, and that will be the drop point, or the dew point. Actually, it's better known as dew point, but you could say drop point. This is also the case that they are saturated, and it's pretty interesting, guys, because we're going to see that the dew and bubble points are exactly the same numerical values. So water, the, let's say, bubble point will be 100 Celsius, but at the same time you know that water uh, vapor will condense at 100 Celsius. So the dew point will be the same. The only thing here is when I tell you dew point, you are talking about the vapor, and when I tell you bubble point, we're talking about a liquid. So the important thing here is to know from where do you come and where do you go. We're going to see that in the next table here, but let me show you a little bit. When you come from the water, which is a liquid, and you achieve this point or this line, which as you can see, you have for every temperature, let's say 100 Celsius, you will have 100 kilopascals, which is one atmosphere. But of course, at 150 Celsius, you will get something about, I don't know, maybe 15. And at 10, you will get maybe 11, no, 1.5, a little bit less. And you can see that for every temperature, you get a pressure. Well, whatever point you choose, when you come from water to steam, you're going to be forming the first bubble, which is going to go to the vapor phase. So that's the bubble point. Now, when we are talking about steam, we're going to condense it, you get to the same line, you can see it's the same line, guys, but in this case we're uh, achieving, or we are approaching the line from the steam to the water. So the steam is going to form the first drop of water, and that's the, well, the dew point. Uh, I will leave this table for the other video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys.
My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.